so beautiful. I think it's about 28 degrees at the moment. Just so lovely in the city. The weather is barely ever like this. So when we have days where it's just beautiful, I'm just like, I need to be outside as much as I possibly can. So I just got home, as you can tell. And I think I'm actually going to do a little bit of online shopping, maybe just like a spot of online shopping. So I've had a few things in my wish list recently that I have not been able to get hold of, which coincidentally brings me to the sponsor for today's video. If you have not heard of Farfetch prior to me literally talking about it right now, you are definitely doing online shopping wrong. So I would say that Farfetch is definitely the first place that I go to when I'm looking for something that is of a specific size or color. I think I'd say around nine times out of 10, they usually have the item that I'm looking for and if they don't, they're about to get it back in stock or whatever. So yeah, they are a real go-to for me. I definitely would recommend them to you guys, especially if there are pieces that you've been on the hunt for and have not been able to find. And I've also ensured that you guys have a discount code for your first order, which is 10% off. I'll have that here and also obviously in the description box below. Farfetch also provided me with a voucher to do a little bit of online shopping prior to creating this video for you guys. So I did purchase a few pieces and I'm obviously gonna show them to you during this video, but I thought rather than doing a try on haul style thing, what I would instead do is just wear the pieces over the next few days so that way you guys can see how I'm actually styling them and integrating them into my wardrobe and that kind of thing. Check in with you guys in a little bit when I head out again. So yeah, chat then. Forest and I want to very quickly tell you guys what I'm wearing today. So this little dress is from Saks Pot and I'm obsessed with it. For some reason it reminds me so much of something that Carrie Bradshaw would wear and you guys all know how much I love Sex in the City. So yeah, I adore this little dress and for the shoes I've just got on these platform black leather shoes. These are from Grenson and obviously will be linked below. So I've actually got a really fancy dinner on this evening so I was thinking about wearing this dress except I'll probably style it a little bit differently to feel more evening appropriate and transition. Wow, that was lame, I'm sorry. I've added in this new blazer, which is a blue pinstripe blazer from Garni. And to make it a little bit more evening, I've put on some black stockings and I've also just popped on my Chanel slingbacks. So yeah, this is sort of how I make this little black dress go from day to night. Can we just take a moment to talk about this dress? I'm obsessed with the little SP logo all over it. I don't know if you can actually see it, but it's just such a vibe. Love pairing navy blue and black together like this. So yeah. Big vibe, really feeling it. I can't really take you guys along with me tonight because I'm going to this really fancy dinner thing. I will see you guys very soon. And by very soon, I mean for you guys, it'll feel like one second, but for me, it's gonna be in the morning. So I'll see you in the morning. that noise in the background that is the people next door ripping down three houses next to this apartment building and they literally start making this noise at like 7 a.m every single day even on the weekend which i swear they're not allowed to do i have my window closed right now so it's actually not even that loud but with the window open it's literally so aggressive i'm just heading out i've got a few different things i need to do today which i'll obviously talk you guys to in a second but this is my outfit of the day so this top is from garni i've been eyeing off tops with these huge collars from garni for a while so decided it was time i just like pulled the plug and got one then i've got on my totem black trousers i did buy them from farfetch but I highly doubt that these specific ones are available anymore, but I'll definitely try and link something really similar below. And then for my shoes, I've just got on these black platform shoes and these are from Grenson. Anyways, let's go. I've got a bunch of different errands and really sort of boring admin business kind of stuff that I need to do today. I need to go to my accountant. I need to go to the post office. I need to drop some product off to a brand, that kind of stuff. And for something a little bit different, I thought while I was going about my day, what I would actually do is I would show you guys a bunch of the places that I really like in Melbourne. I feel like you guys are constantly asking me for recommendations in Melbourne and things that I like. So I thought while I was doing these errand type things, I would just also take you guys along and I would show you guys all my favorite places. I really need to get one of these car tripod things so we can chat while I'm driving. But I've just got you guys on the dashboard, so we'll see how long it takes before the whole thing falls. Driving at like 20 kilometers an hour, if that, so surely it should stay. 
first stop is to be frank bakery because we went to this bakery so much during covid i sort of know all the people that work there now and yeah it's like a great community vibe i feel so yeah this one is definitely my fave all right there's no way to park so i'm gonna just park in this permit zone for literally two seconds and hope that i don't get a parking fine they didn't have the Vegemite and cheese scroll, which is what I was actually going to get because they've already sold out. So I got this Raisin S Cargo instead. It's so good. It is so, so good. It's so sweet. So light. The raisins are really big as well. So if you go to, to be frank, next door there is actually this really cute furniture shop. So I'm going to very quickly do a little incognito walk through the place and show you guys because I think that you will really like it. They have heaps of really trendy furniture and like pretty much whatever is trending, whatever is cool on Pinterest, they will sell at Piers. seen me go here on my vlogs before but I don't know if I really showed you the homeware section I think I've mainly just concentrated on the food and the coffee and all of that to be guys how cute is this I am literally obsessed really cute little candle things as well like these candle kind of holders I love them so much and obviously a great selection of beautiful plants My next stop for the day is the city. I'm going to be meeting my accountant at about one o'clock. It's currently 12 o'clock. So I have like an hour to get there and everything. And I just thought I would come home first to probably get changed because in classic Melbourne fashion, it has dropped about 10 degrees in the last five minutes. So I'm now freezing and I need something warmer than what I'm currently wearing to go into the city. It's always particularly cold in Melbourne CBD. I'm not really sure why. Seriously, look at the weather now. It was so sunny and beautiful this morning and now it looks like it's about to rain. I just got changed into this brown top, which is very cute. And I'll probably also bring like a black blazer with me or something like that. But I did get a couple of other pieces from Farfetch, which I feel like are very winter appropriate. So the first one is this really cute beanie from Garni. I actually don't own any beanies so I just thought I should probably get one for winter and obviously it looks really cute with like a full dark brown like autumnal look so this beanie is literally so cute. I feel like I never ever wear beanies like I don't even own any beanies. This is probably the one and only beanie that I currently have in my wardrobe and yeah it's so cute. I love it. I don't know if it really suits me or not, but either way, I'm digging it. <laughs> and the last more autumn winter inspired piece that I got was this beautiful woolen scarf from Totem. It's like this is the kind of piece that you add into your wardrobe and you literally never, ever, ever take out of your wardrobe because it is just so classic. I like these super long scarves, like this one, are going to be really trendy for winter. But I also think they're actually quite versatile because given they are so long, you can sort of wear them as a shawl. You can wrap them around a few different times. You can like style them all the different ways and yeah, I think it would look really good with a trench coat as well. You guys know that I'm really liking the trench coats that sort of sit at the ankle length at the moment. So I think with an ankle length trench coat, a turtleneck or a long sleeve top like this, some black trousers and these really long scarves, I just feel like it's a really cool autumn winter vibe. So yeah, there you go. I head back out now. I've just popped on my Garni blazer to go with this little outfit. I think this actually looks really cute. This little color combination between black, brown and navy blue. Very fancy to see my accountant. It's kind of raining right now it's not too bad it's just like drizzling but i still don't want to get out of my car because if i get rained on my hair is gonna go fuzzy <laughs> i'm gonna sit here for two minutes wait for the rain to chill and then yeah we're gonna head out all right my appointment just finished i'm just going to head to a cafe get a bit of work done get some editing done
chilly yesterday that I was carrying on about how beautiful the weather was and now it's like this. I just realized that I haven't actually had lunch yet today, but I don't really know what I'm feeling like at the moment. Mm. Um, I might just make something at home. Right, I'm just gonna pop in now to the source and get some like snacks for the weekend and stuff. Get quite a few things in the end but I might do a little haul or something when I get home. The thing that I'm most excited to try is this cacao muesli which sounds really good. I also got these honey coated macadamia nuts. Not bad, not bad. And some strawberry things. But can't taste like a lolly so obviously I like it. I'm try one last thing. This is a chocolate honeycomb. Okay I've now pretty much eaten all my snacks so Oh, the freeze dried strawberries are my favorite thing there. They have really good pizza there, just by the way. Final thank you to Farfetch for sponsoring today's video. I've had so much fun going around Melbourne with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to use my 10% discount code, which is valid for 30 days, I believe. So definitely hop onto it, especially if there is something that you are not able to find somewhere else. There is a very good chance that Farfetch will have it. Anyways, that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll obviously see you all very soon, probably in the next couple of days. But until then, bye. <laughs>